All right, let's change springs. We got your body flip set up in a black black. Well, let's say I'm 250 pounds and I need to switch to an orange orange. We're gonna swap out both the upper and lower springs of the body flip. First thing we wanna do is record where you are right now on your preload. Right now, if I look down on this directly, I'm at two and a half. So my preload on here is a two and a half. I'm not gonna mess with my saddle height, but two and a half of my preload, I'm gonna mark that down and remember it because I wanna go back to that if I'm going to go back to a black black spring rate. We've got these oranges in here. I want to back this off into the most upright position for the body float. It comes up. As soon as it stops moving, just past the one there, there we go. That comes to a stop. Take out my side link of side link screw from the left side. Pull that out. Press my thumb here and just push down and now I've got the access to my lower spring guide. We're going to leave that there for right now. I need to get into my upper spring though, so I've got to take out both side links of the system. I go on the right side, take out the other screw. Now to get these links apart, you can either tap them with something soft like this and they come out pretty easily. The other thing we recommend is actually taking a tire lever, just your regular, your regular uh, plastic tire lever, and you can put it up inside of this and just pop these links right off. If I take my left one off, set it down, take my right one off, set it down. I'm also holding on to the system, but now I'm gonna have access to my upper, so I'm gonna gently lean the seat forward, tilt the whole mechanism up, and my upper spring guide comes right out. Very, very simple to do. Take my inch and a half upper, replace it with an inch and a half um, upper orange. Now I want to add another spring to this. Sorry, add another elastomer. So what happens is in the, in the orange orange, on an orange orange, in an orange upper or a black upper, you want to have two of our bottom out elastomers sitting in there because the spring compresses a little earlier in its travel range. So you want two elastomers to, so when you bottom the spring out, it hits the elastomers just before the spring itself bottoms out. So you get a nice soft lower end. Just going to press this guy on. Right there. I'm going to line up the end of my spring guide with a cap washer right up here at the top. Thread that in. Take my finger, press against the bottom of the spring guide, right onto that dowel, and tilt that up. I've just replaced my upper spring. My lower spring, back off this system here. Take out my one and three quarter lower spring. I'm gonna put in my one and three quarter orange spring. I'm gonna make sure there's a little bit of fresh Loctite on there that maybe gets a little bit tacky. I might let it sit overnight, a little Loctite. Periodically, want to do that. Put this into place, line it up, screw that on. Now, line up your wings. And oops, forgot to do this first. Got to put my side links on. So I'm lining up my upper pins, giving a little tap on that side, one with my markings, line it up, tap it on there. Very, very simple to do. Press that up into place. I'm going to gently tighten up my right side nut on this side. Not too tight. Lining up this. Pressing up with my thumb. Sometimes I want to press here with my thumb and my forefingers so I can line that hole up to get that screw all the way in. Press here, give a little bit of pressure to get the thread started. And there you go. Now this is our stiffest spring rate setting. This handles anybody, basically anybody up to about 260 pounds. Um, we've had as high as 300 pounds on an orange-orange spring. 
So we know we've got some ability to, to handle some weight on this thing. And I'm just going to tap a little bit down just so it starts to engage. And that is changing your upper and lower spring gauge. And I can still, even though this is designed for a 100 or 250 pound person, at 170 pounds, I can still get a lot of travel out of this thing. Why? Because that's how the beauty of the, how the body float works.